all right coming to the next example uh, which of the following statement is a true for undirected graphs statement p is number of odd degree vertices is even so what does it mean odd degree vertices first of all i think you should remember what is degree of a vertex it's from the graph theory class the number of edges that are connected to a vertex is the degree of that vertex what is an odd degree vertex the a vertex for which degree is odd or a vertex for which the number of edges that are connected to that vertex is odd that is so what is statement p number of odd degree vertices is even so if you take a graph any graph you take the vertices that have odd degree and you count these vertices it should come an even number that is statement p what is statement q sum of degrees of all vertices is even so you have a graph you take all the vertices of the graph you sum up their degrees and it should come out even right and we have to tell that whether it is true basically you have to tell whether only p is true or only q is true both are true or neither is true okay let's look at this simple graph so you have this vertex 1 this is vertex 2 and this is an edge between these two vertices what, what do you see here right so one edge suppose you add an edge to a graph what it does it gives one degree to this node and it gives one degree to this node so if you think it for any graph if you give an edge or if you add an edge to a graph what will happen it will add two degrees to the graph right one degree will be added to the node from where the edge originates and one another degree will be added to the node to which the, degree, the edge terminates so basically two degrees correspond to one edge that's what I just explained one edge means two degrees so what what does it tell us about the whole graph any general graph so you know if you have an edge a single edge it gave you two degrees if you will have 10 edges it will give you 10 into 2 20 degrees so sum of degrees means take all the vertices and you try to find out the total degree it will be nothing but two times the total number of edges why to why this because one edge would add two degree so you take all the edges you multiply it by two and that will be the degree the sum of the degree of all the vertices in the graph and what do we get when you multiply any number by two it's always even two times you take anything it's always even that's why this is an even number so what do we get from here sum of degrees of all vertices is even and we know that the statement Q is true because sum of degrees of all vertices is even that's what we just proved now what about statement P the statement P is number of odd degree vertices is even so we have to be a little bit clever here or more manipulative if you will so we have to we have to focus on odd degree vertices somehow how can we do that let's see let's suppose this is a graph what I have done here is given colors to the nodes or vertices of the graph so what is the degree of this node 1 what is the degree of this node 1 2 3 what is the degree of this node 1 2 3 what is the degree of this node 1 2 3 what is the degree of this node just 2 so this was 1 this was 3 this was 3 this was 3 and this was 2 what I have done I have given blue color to the nodes that have odd degree and I have given red color to the nodes that have even degree so the point I'm trying to stress here is that you can partition any graph in a way in which you have the degrees the, the vertices that have even degrees 
as one set and the vertices that have odd degrees as another set that's what I have done here now what do I say sum of degrees I talk about the sum of degrees which means sum of the degree of all the vertices is nothing but the sum of degrees of vertices with even degree plus sum of degrees of vertices with odd degree what does it mean so if I have to find the sum of degree of all the vertices for this graph what I can do is find the sum of degrees of vertices with even degrees the one which have red label plus sum of degrees of vertices with odd degree all those vertices that have blue label so I can I can divide or I can break this into two parts sum of degrees of vertices with even degree and sum of degrees of vertices with odd degree why I am doing this because my answer like the problem is forcing me to focus on the vertices with odd degree right that was the statement Q so now let's just think about some of degrees of vertices with even degree so what do we have in this this is in yellow so these are the vertices which have even degree and if I will add the degrees of all these vertices that have even degree sum of degrees of vertices with even degree in yellow what do I get I add even degrees or I'm adding even numbers if I add even numbers any number of times like 2 plus 4 6 2 plus 4 plus 6 is 12 so if I add even numbers what do I get always even so this yellow part we divided the problem into two parts okay the one in which the vertices had even degree and the one in which the vertices had odd degree so this even degree part what do we get for this so if we do the sum of degrees of vertices with even degree this is always even because if you add even numbers you always get even add as many even numbers as you want it will always be even all right now what I have done here is just rearrange the equation so this odd degrees on LHS and this yellow term goes on the other side so what do I get sum of degrees of vertices with odd degree which was this thing is equal to this sum of degrees minus sum of degrees of vertices with even this is just a rearrangement all right okay now I want you to focus on sum of degrees what is this what is sum of degrees we did it in the previous slide this is always even we just proved it in the previous slide so this is even and this is even we just did it here then all right so if you take all, all the vertices that have odd degree and you and you add their degrees these all of these add the odd degrees you will get an even number what does it tell about the number of vertices with odd degree because the question is about the number of vertices with odd degree what, what have we found here we have found the sum of degrees of vertices with odd degree what does it tell about the number of vertices with odd degree let's think what does this tell us this tell us that we have all these vertices that have odd degree and we keep adding their degrees all of them and we get an even number so basically we are adding odd numbers we are adding odd numbers and we know that the outcome is an even number all right we are adding odd numbers because we are adding those degrees we are adding these odd degrees and the outcome is even what does it tell about the number of vertices with odd degree what does it tell about the number of vertices or what does it tell about how many of such odd numbers we have added let's see what do we get when we add odd numbers so this 3 is odd 1 is odd we add 3 plus 1 we get 4 which is even 3 is odd 1 is odd 5 is odd we add all of them we get 9 which is even which is odd sorry 9 is odd we have 3 we add 1 we add 5 we add 7 we get 16 which is even 
So this tells us that if you add odd numbers even number of times you get an outcome that is even which was this case and this case but if you add odd numbers odd number of times you get odd number and what do we know our outcome is even so we have this case and this case so this tells us that number of such terms that we are adding must be even or number of vertices must be even so the number of vertices with odd degrees must be even all right so statement p is true as well and thus option c this this is basically textbook theorem these two Coming to the next question, which is which of the following graph is isomorphic to this graph? So this is a graph given to us and these are four options and we have to tell which of the following is isomorphic to this. Okay. Isomorphism. Iso means similar and morphic means structure. Right. So which of the following graphs basically has the same structure as this graph? That's what we have to tell. Right? Or mathematically speaking, isomorphing has to do with mapping. I'm not going into that mathematical definition because you don't need that to solve this particular problem. But it, there has to be a one-to-one -one mapping from one system to another system to have isomorphism must have learned this in your probably group theory class so which of these can be isomorphic can this be isomorphic so look at this this graph has a cycle of five vertices this has a cycle of three vertices there is no way they can be isomorphic this is eliminated look at this does this have a cycle uh, yes it does so there is cycle of five vertices in this graph to one two three four and five so this is a possibility we cannot eliminate this what about this oh yeah this definitely has a cycle of five vertices this is a possibility this this has a cycle of four vertices this is eliminated too because it cannot be isomorphic to this graph which has a cycle of five vertices coming to these two if you look at this one I mean this is similar but you see this vertex this vertex has an h to this vertex and the same vertex has an h to this which goes to this but out here this vertex has an h to this to this and this one has an h to this this can't be isomorphic to this too and you can do it in a more structured manner this way what you can do is you can give labelings to these nodes. So I've labeled this graph like this A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And then I can label this graph in a similar manner. You see? So this is A, this is B, and this is C. In this case, after C we had D and we had E, and then it came back to A. Out here you have it, you have this thing like this: C to D, D to E, and it comes back to A. So this is the from A to F you have an H, from A to G to H, from A to G to H. So this one is isomorphic to this one. And that's why we say option B.